Before we get into the topic of Antarctica, deception, and can you handle the truth, I strongly recommend that you study and research photography, video editing, CGI, and animation. This will help provide logic and understanding on how people are deceived when it comes to animation, pictures, and video. The following article are composites of my thoughts and frustrations with they who are seeking the truth. There are elite people on this planet who have a great amount of money who are able to try out their truth of the real world. The rest of us are waiting. In my case, I was chosen because of high interaction with extraterrestrials. Can't go into detail about that, but that's just the truth. These are not the type of extraterrestrials you've been taught. The extraterrestrials I've dealt with are human. Bottom line. With the exception of a few of us, or maybe perhaps more, we know the truth. But the rest of the world are led to believe what they've taught. Antarctica. We need to understand what's going on. The Earth is enclosed in a translucent material. Everything about every elite family who has the truth, for whatever reason, has decided to un not reveal the truth to you, but rather deal with it themselves and keep you in this enclosure of deception. The whole situation of oil drilling is a face value, is for oil. But the truth is, the space program, oil drilling, military, are all bent and directed to one goal, getting out of the dome. Most of the oil drilling in the deep sea is not to drill for oil, but to drill through the super translucent material. They run into obstacles. The oil that comes out is because the fuel that's provided to give us hot springs and volcanoes are utilized with oil. The oil is there to deter also they who seek um, freedom from the dome and this is why you have the oil spills uh, sometimes have oil spills sometimes have oil spills in the deep sea is because there's a frantic um, desire to get out of the dome these are the very very wealthy uh, are trying this That's the whole deal with the space programs the rockets and the, uh, the nuclear bombs and the stealth fighters is all an attempt to get out of the dome. For some strange reason, some of us have access to get out. But for the most part, we are all in a prison. In my case, I now question why I, can, I know I come back because of family and because of love and because I'm seeking for quote unquote God to do things. But even in my case, why did I come back? Why did I agree to only remember certain things and forget other things? Was this hypnosis? We have to just face the true facts that the real world is hidden in plain sight. The whole thing about Antarctica is people's attempt to find the truth about the geographical location of our continents and planet and our locations of uh, different um, locations on the, on the planet Earth the continents. The truth is we need to face the entire truth is that the entire planet is built upon a lie. No one has true absolute physical clear high definition video and true camera footage or pictures that display the truth. No one has the absolute physical shape of the earth much less the location of Antarctica. And so after this you will hear me um, three different recordings combined and I will express my opinions and thoughts and absolute understanding of Antarctica.
But in a nutshell, people are seeking the truth. Unfortunately, many are losing their lives. Well, I shouldn't say many. A few are losing their lives. Um, the sky watchers and the skywalkers will detain you, deter you, or destroy you, or all of the above. This is the absolute truth. We are truly inside of a realistic biological matrix, which is overlaid by an electronical matrix. We have a biological existence, which is overlaid by an electronical matrix. This is the obvious answer. The earth is hidden in plain sight. It's hidden through the use of our military force and by the utilization of various types of elements which are used and I will name a few um, clouds um, fire uh, wind <laughs> believe it or not earth wind and fire is how they deter us isn't that crazy and it's not done by a magical genie or a god it's done by humans who have access to technology and uh, the plasma energy which is calibrated um, and orchestrated through the use of magnetic field generated through the satellite dishes and the electricity which produces a magnetic field within the earth this is another way they stop you it is as if the whole world is enslaved where is Antarctica what is Antarctica Let's stop for a moment and reflect the history of man. We have taken actual physical evidence and construed it to videos and pictures and diagrams. This is an invert, unintentional or intentional format of deception. Unless it is in high definition real time from one point to the other point with all the view shots and angles that are necessary to get to the point to Antarctica we must all conclude that dissimulation and deception is at hand when it comes to this place you are seeking you will find that there are lies upon lies upon lies as a matter of fact the planet earth itself is hidden in plain view this is truly the matrix even myself I don't have video because I haven't gone there and I have no intentions on going to Antarctica not at this point however I do have acquaintance and well the truth is when you find the true Antarctica you won't find ice walls the people who are showing these videos are not credible where is Antarctica you mean to tell me that you trust the videos that you've been given and provided even the pictures which are in high definition let's look at the angles one we are starting in a location we have no idea where we are when we start in those locations and we're taking pictures 360 degrees of icebergs and different types of ice walls but if you look at some of those videos and pictures really closely you will see mountains behind those pictures because the truth is they are also giving you deception Antarctica is not there don't just take my word for it go yourselves and when you get to the true Antarctica you will be met by military and secret ops who will either deter you or destroy you or detain you one of the three and this is what's going to happen Antarctica is not surrounded by ice walls we won't high definition video but there will be obstacles and there will be a challenge there because of the sky watchers there are two people the sky watchers and the sky walkers the sky watchers are they who have the satellite dishes and computer technology and sonar and radar utilizing these satellite dishes 
and they watch the skies continually for all activity, no matter what activity. And then you have the sky walkers. And these are the ones who fly their various types of airplanes and airships and they will spray chemtrails. And then what would this do? This will provide a blanket immediately to cover the truth. Why is the governments around the world, why are the governments around the world in a combined effort blocking our visuals of the land? Have you ever thought about that? For you people who believe that in the beginning there was snow and God created snow, we have some discrepancies here. It is clear hard physical evidence that the intervention of man around the world spray various types of freon agents and chemicals which provide winter and this is done in a joint effort around the world this is why it is cold until we take away those absolutely take away those factors we cannot conclude that there's even a winter I am trying to get you to open your eyes to the real truth the full truth and everything in perspective the holistic viewpoint you are on to it you're beginning to get it but you are still construing yourself to animations and video you can't truly understand what the world is and how the world exists until you're able to get a real-time visual of the world it doesn't matter how intelligent and how smart a person is until you actually have dared and have done it you truly don't have a full understanding this is my stance and this is where I will stand because of the situation of my ability and um, access to being able to leave this planet let's go back to the arguments of Antarctica everyone is providing videos about Antarctica but no one has provided true raw footage let's say fly from Washington DC in low altitude get permission it doesn't take that much money and you have an airship with extra tanks uh, to provide the jet fuel um, it would be advisable to use a helicopter um, this would take an amount of time so you want one of the larger airships which is uh, basically supplied with enough fuel I know what you're going to run into. You're going to run into air defense and they're going to spray the chemtrails and your visuals are going to be made low. That will give you immense fog, even with your instruments, which are directed to go one way. Um, not too long ago, I was in a location and it was demonstrated to me technology which stopped all my instruments. Um, my compasses, everything I had um, didn't work because of the magnetic field that was created there. Um, I would like to go into detail of exactly where I was at. I was on a high elevation um, in, the state of in the state of California and the technology was demonstrated to me and so I had absolutely no idea what direction north was because that compass and all those instruments all of them everything I used was blocked and then um, eventually the visual was blocked but we did have clear visual and there was a machine there I will not explain exactly what the machine is or it could have been a life form and it stopped all our instruments so um, you don't you, you can't handle the truth right now but the truth is um, the geographical location of the earth is based upon lies and illusions this entire planet no one has absolute clear hard physical evidence of the shape of earth bar none much less the location of Antarctica but I want to just tell you the truth okay when you provide these pictures look at the angles they're from a, a low perspective then the high angles you're not giving us high definition of, a, of the widescreen shot that will give us a visual at least a good 20 mile radius right where we can see if there's mountains or any types of other 
uh, terraforms there so we can conclude that yes this is the truth as a matter of fact this has been a joint effort by black ops and our secret militaries to because people have been asking questions where's Antarctica and, and we have some millionaires who have made attempts to even fly and, and go to these places some of them have been taken to Antarctica see I'm telling you inside information you people who are on the internet you're still falling for this hypnosis thing you I, I see you have your charts and you have it down. You can't understand the world fully by looking at a chart. We have, we have, I have some of the greatest minds and scientists in the world who have attempted this, even on a regular scale, on just getting um, something as easy as a shuttle from one location to another. Uh, it just didn't work from from all the science all the scientists in the, the world and the brilliant minds we still have to make adjustments when it came to the actual physical geographical locations it's just not it's, it's it makes some sense it does give you a generalization but it's not just the full hard clear evidence we have to utilize all our senses not just the sense of the mind we have to have smell touch taste um, and we have to have hearing and we have to be able to see these things in real high clear definition this is the bottom line we need to fly from one point to that point where they call Antarctica to put a hush to everyone who are saying this and that stop putting words in the mouths of intelligence when intelligence has said nothing I am not upset at you I'm upset at the fact that our human race has been dumbed down and we fall for the easiest mind trick of all. The old hypnotic trance. Taking one's eyes off the real clear and hard physical evidence. And distracting them to create illusions. On videos, pictures, and high definition videos. Which are in the location that does not prove that it is in Ant Antarctica. There are too many loopholes here. Um, Antarctica. You need to have an airship that flies in high definition under the clouds and under the chemtrail springs and in clear high definition so you need permission but they're not going to let you do this. So if you go by ship you make sure your instruments are working correctly and they're not going to let you go to Antarctica. Why? Why? Why do you say that Antarctica is not what people say? Because it isn't. Um, uh, trust me it's just not you have to disprove me and you say well prove it no one's proven anything that's the whole problem all of us are liars everyone on all reality across the board we're we're deceived all of us whether you believe in God or don't believe in God it doesn't matter we are all full of deception and this is the bottom line you want to get out of the dome well you want to get to the edges when you get there, you're going to see a high, uh, I mean, I was going to say high definition. You're going to see a clear, translucent material, and it's, it's very, very solid, and you will not, and the, you will not be able to get through that. You just want, it's a super translucent material, and these, this is what you're going to find on the edges of the earth. Antarctica, the ice walls are not there. Um, the ice walls are there in the North Pole, and they are there in Alaska. Uh, the ice walls are not in Antarctica. I'm telling you this, and I'm telling you this because you need to open your mind a little better. Look at the angles of the the camera shots, and the military has been providing high definition video of Alaska. And they have been providing high definition video of the North Pole, not Antarctica. This is a staged event of deception. Believe it or not, Antarctica does not exist. On the edges of the world is a hard translucent superdome, bar none. This is the answer. You are dealing with deception on all levels. Whether you are an evolutionist, an atheist, and a believer, and an absolute creator, all three, all of the above, have been lied to 
on every level unless it is in real time clear hard physical evidence you must conclude that is intentional or unintentional deception let's talk about Antarctica what is Antarctica where is Antarctica let's stop you will not believe this but it is the truth we have been programmed to believe they who run the machine and the technologies and the educational systems we have taken real-time high-definition video and taken it as God we haven't considered to go to places ourselves with the exception of the things by which we've given access to the truth is you will not be given access to get to the dome not the edges the top of the dome you already you can't get there the bottom of the dome however there is ways around it since the government are not able to survey everything with some exceptions they are able to monitor uh, activities uh, through sound waves and seismic uh, waves uh, which are bounced off the dome uh, for activities uh, which are um, unusual activities to go investigate still you can most likely get away with a covert operation with a couple hundred thousand dollars in drilling machines um, and uh, deep diving uh, submarines and there's a possibility that you can get away uh, with finding the bottom of the dome but the edges you will not be given and your visuals will be taken away even if you fly a helicopter with twin blades um, with enough fuel to get from Washington DC to uh, Antarctica the true Antarctica you will not discover ice walls what you're gonna do you're gonna be deterred detained or destroyed one of the three and what you would find if you did get there is a translucent material and so you have to be careful uh, your airship don't run into the the dome itself and this is just the bottom line um, the videos that are provided were provided by the military hint hint think about it think for yourself um, those videos only show you the, the, like scenes they show you right in the middle of a, a scene you didn't get clear high definition video and even if you go with videos yourself not to say that you shouldn't that you shouldn't try when you get visuals you're, you're when you start to fly you're gonna fly from Washington DC to uh, Antarctica wherever that's supposed to be south away from the earth um, whatever that direction would be you're going to fly under the clouds you're not going to get permission to fly under the clouds you have to fly above the clouds okay so your instruments are going to work or will they when you get so far if they don't use the satellite dishes against you and there's another machine I will not mention um, what it does is it stops your compass and so you have to rely basically on the Sun and where the location of the Sun is and you go in the, the opposite direction you use gyroscopes well they're going to be um, mag magnetized and they will not work um, with the mercury uh, it will be energized and a magnetic field will be created and your instruments will stop literally this is what happened uh, in my case and I will not go into details about it I was in a location in the state of California and uh, I was quite baffled uh, I was impressed but I wasn't I understood clearly that um, technology is here uh, to tease us the world is truly in a matrix it's a biological ma matrix it's an actual matrix and it's also a computer generated matrix they both are combined and work together the 3d and 4d animate 4d re realities are there as a, a one source um, well two sources but as one entity um, the three the third and fourth dimension are working together simultaneously to provide illusions both biologically and um, electronically and so um, basically when you fly lower in the clouds they're going to send the, the sky watchers going to find you 
and they're going to send airships with spray chemtrails and what's going to happen these these airships are really fast and when I say airships I mean airplanes different types of jets and jet planes and uh, stealth fighters and um, they're going to spray the chemtrails and your visual is going to is going to become foggy even in low elevation you won't even get a, um, a visual a clear visual um, to get from one point to the other this is what you're going to face and uh, for you guys who are um, have your own islands and you're very wealthy and you really want to know the truth the ones who've uh, asked me for advice and help um, you've already the ones who've already been through this uh, the, that are still alive you've run into this obstacle they're going to stop you and so the question is why is the government the governments and the secret uh, allies of our world hiding this from you can you handle the truth again there is no clear hard physical evidence of the geographical location or shape of the planet earth bar none everything has been provided on illustration by pictures and videos and even um, carved illustrations various types there are some videos which are performed and provided but not a clear high-definition video footage of the actual geographical location and shape of the earth and there are factors as to why one you're going to be dealt with by the secret ops the sky watchers and skywalkers and then two the actual physical reality that we on the planet earth are encased inside of a super translucent material they call the firmament some call it the dome others call it the Orion's belt and some people call it the Van Allen radiation belt this is even deception in of itself the, the, the clearer and more accurate um, words to use is um, force field or crystal or dome uh, the other things are not true I don't need to go into detail as to why uh, you need to do your homework. But for us uh, elite who have had access to leave the planet, we know the truth. And for they who are still seeking the truth, you must uh, clear your mind and use, utilize all your senses. And go back to the drawing boards. But I shouldn't say that. Get off the drawing boards and go out in the real world and experience the reality you're going to be you're not when they take you to Alaska they're going to put you on a plane you're going to fly below the I'm sorry you're going to ask to go to Antarctica they're going to put you on a plane you're going to spend they're going to give you all sorts of trouble then you're going to spend some money and you have to go on certain dates and you're going to be flown to Alaska or the North Pole and you're going to spend some time there maybe a couple days a week and then you're going to fly they're going to fly you back you have you would have not gone to Antarctica you, you need to have clear hard physical evidence of this um, it's just not going to happen N not not if you try to do it uh, in public and you know, by the face value it's you're not you're not even going to find airline um, companies that will even take you to Antarctica uh, properly um, you're going to be taken to not even areas of Antarctica why because Antarctica does not exist where Antarctica the true Antarctica, Antarctica is supposed to be is a thing we call the firmament bar none end of story we all need to face the fact that we have all been lied to and the truth is really really hidden in plain sight ladies and gentlemen people of the world creature both young and old large and small you are truly in the matrix this is the truth until I see you where I am already open your eye